Hey guys, a couple weeks ago I did a video on painting a lipless crankbait. Now at that time we were going to put a wrap on that lure so the base coat under the wrap was a pearlized copper, which I thought looked kind of cool. And later on I noticed in my comments, I believe it was Gary, said that that was a nice colored lure just the way it was. So I thought let's come back today, we're going to paint a lipless crankbait again, and this time we're going to do it in pearlized copper. Stick with me. As I said, we kind of like that copper color, but I want to make this real simple, highlight it a little, so we're going to put a wrap on this, and that means for the base, we're going to go with opaque black for our base coat, then we'll put the wrap on. Just give it a nice even coating with the opaque black, just to get it good and covered. Really this isn't anything different than painting other lures and putting a base coat of white. Only here we're just going to put a base coat of black. There we go. Alright, let me hit that with the heat gun, dry it real quick, and we'll be ready for the wrap. For the wrap on this one, we're going to use this wrap. This is uh, Hobby Lobby. Now this is not in the floral section the way some of my other wraps have been. This is actually a ribbon and you will find this in the uh, fabric section of Hobby Lobby. So let's just cut off a little bit here. And for this case I'm going to go ahead and double it over. I'm going to double it up a little bit. Gives you a little bit more to it and we're just going to take that lipless and as always we're just going to lay it right down in we're going to pull that up real tight use the hair breadths as, as I've always used in the past get back a little bit here we're going to get a hold of it The main thing is, be sure you get it down there really snug and tight. Alright, there we go. I think we got that snug and tight enough. It's a little bit up on top here, but it's a little bit tougher with this style of lure because it doesn't want to sit tight with a head like that. It's just shaped a little bit differently. makes it a little bit tougher. Put her back in the clamp. Do you know anything about lipless? They don't have a bill to hold on to them. All right, we got that. Let's load up with our pearlized copper. And we'll just give it a good all over coat. Now we're probably going to go two coats here. Give it good and heavy because I didn't put any white on here. If you notice, like I have in some of the other ones. So we're going to need to cover that black. But the key is, this copper covers real well. Some of your other colors, if you weren't using the copper, they wouldn't cover over this black as well. And you'd have to have that white on there first. But the pearlized copper does a pretty good job. And it just saves us one step. thing I want to do is I want to make real sure getting everything covered good. All right. Now, we're going to put a heat set on that before we take the wrap off. We'll see where we go from there. All right, we're ready to pull the wrap off. Let's see what we got here. And there we go. There is our copper the pearl with the uh, pearlized copper with the black. You know what? I think we're going to take 
One more little thing I want to do here. Hang on. All right, kind of changed my mind a little. Uh, got the pearlized copper with the black veining in it. I was really thinking of going ahead and doing a little splatter to put some spots on it. But the more I looked at it, I thought, no, let's not mess with it. I like it just the way it is. Sometimes more is too much, and maybe this is a spot to quit. Nice, real easy to do. I think you're going to end up with a nice looking lure that's going to catch fish. And it really doesn't take much to be able to do this one. We're going to put a set of eyes in this. Put the top coat on, as always. We'll show you what we got when we get all done with it. Well, there you go, guys. There is the copper-colored lipless crankbait. I got to admit, looking at that one, that should catch some fish. Well, hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.